The Cunning Horse is a large, strong, athletically built and valued Italian guard dog. These dogs possess ideal characteristics for all animal lovers in search of a personal guard dog. Naturally, they have both advantages and disadvantages. Which ones? Before we begin listing the most important traits, I would like to ask you to share this video on your Facebook profile using the share button below. Let's help spread the word about this gorgeous Cunning Corso breed. What follows is an overview of the top 8 most important traits of the Cunning Corso dog breed. Number 1. Character The Cunning Corso is a protectively minded pet that keeps its owners safe and it's not uncommon for them to adopt an alpha rule in the family, given a lack of boundaries. Cunning Corsos are protective, attentive, stable, calm and quiet. What's their biggest problem? These dogs require a strong leader, early socialization and obedience training. They require a task to perform and the owner has to be the one to give it to them. A lack of socialization will lead to very pronounced protective tendency, while a lack of activity can cause destructive behaviors. Now let's turn our attention to how cunning horses act toward children, strangers and other animals. What are they like with children? Cunning horses are usually considered a poor fit for your little ones. Provided that they are very socialized, these dogs will be good to any children in your family. Cunning horses are polite dogs and will tend to act protectively toward your children. However, that's not the case for unfamiliar children. Children often run around and chase after each other while playing. Dogs will sometimes perceive a threat even if there isn't one and jump in. That usually doesn't end well. Apart from early socialization and teaching the dog how to behave toward children, always be aware of the dog's interactions with your child. Teach your child never to approach a dog that is sleeping, eating and never to try taking away the dog's food. How does the Cunning Corso breed act towards strangers? These guard dogs are also inadvisable if you often get visits from strangers. If they perceive what they believe is a threat or if something scares them, they will react aggressively. That's what makes early socialization crucially important as well as getting them acquainted with situations where they are near strangers. How do they behave toward other dogs? As you might imagine, their behavior around other dogs is no better than with children and strangers. The Cunning Corso breed will tolerate other dogs and smaller animals such as cats only if they grow up together. In most other cases, they will perceive either a threat or simply prey. Of course, there are no prizes for guessing what the outcome of such situations will be. So, does that mean that Cunning Corso is an aggressive breed? The Cunning Corso is not only a protectively minded dog breed, it's one of the most capable guard dog breeds in the world. However, they are also rather intelligent. If you treat your Cunning Corso correctly, they shouldn't exhibit aggression unless they feel it's necessary. If they fall into the wrong hands, they can indeed become very aggressive dogs. Is the Cunning Corso vocal? These dogs have a mid level tendency to bark. You can expect them to warn you about the arrival of strangers and possibly even start barking at them in case of boredom. Trait number 2. How long does a Cunning Corso live? Cunning Corsos live for 10 to 12 years on average. Are your friends already watching the video with you? If not, share the video with them so they can join us and if you are enjoying your time here, I invite you to subscribe and join our growing family of animal lovers. Number 3. How to train a Cunning Corso Training a Cunning Corso isn't a complicated matter, but it's vital one if you desire a well-behaved pet. They are intelligent, obedient and devoted dogs who will listen to their owners. Successfully training a Cunning Corso dog requires good knowledge of dog training techniques, starting from an early age, consistency and persistence, treats and prizes, and authority. Try not to resort to harsh training methods, it will have the opposite effect of the one you are trying to achieve. If you begin training while your dog is still young, you earn their respect and develop an unbreakable bond with your devoted and obedient pet. I recommend you take a look at my video the top 10 signs of dog communication, it should prove helpful for discovering the non-verbal signs your pet constantly gives you and reacting appropriately to them. Trait number 4. Care 
for their bones and muscles to develop optimally and to remain healthy, physical activity is a necessity. The Kanik also loves walking, running and hiking, aim to keep them active for at least 45 minutes every day. They will also require you to brush them once a week and even every day during shedding season to clean up the starry hairs. Trait number 5. Weight. Females of the Kanik also breed tend to weigh 90 to 100 pounds, while males being 100 to 110 pounds on average. Trait number 6. Height. Female dogs stand 23 to 26 inches tall, while males are in the 24 to 28 inch range. Trait number 7. Are they prone to illnesses? As a general rule, these are healthy dogs who are not especially prone to any specific conditions or diseases. Trait number 8. Dog food. As with any dog breed, I always advise selecting high quality food for your dog to keep them healthy and looking their best. The Cane Corso is a reasonable energetic dog breed and sure they always have access to some drinking water. What makes these dogs the right choice for you? Cane Corso dogs are an excellent choice if you're looking for a family guard dog, a well-built and athletic dog, an intelligent and remarkably loyal companion. Cane Corso dogs are not a good choice if you want a dog who lives primarily inside the house, is friendly toward children, strangers and other animals alike and requires little to no attention or training. And now for some Cane Corso pictures. Picture of a Cane Corso puppy. Photo of an adult dog. Like any dog breed, the Cane Corso has both its good sides and certain disadvantages. In short, what you get with a Cane Corso is a muscular, athletically built, protectively minded and above all, exceedingly loyal family guardian. If you know of any traits I didn't mention in the video or you have anything to share related to this remarkable breed, please leave a comment below the video. If you enjoyed getting to know the Cane Corso with us, I would like to ask you to share this video with your friends on Facebook and other social networks. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel to join our family of animal lovers. Would you like to see more? In the description you will find links to the videos of the top 10 most loyal, most intelligent, deadliest, most beautiful, tiniest dog breeds in the world and many more. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!